there's pieces you can add. If you offer them it here, you're doing the, the you're doing the wrong you're doing the wrong technique because it's natural. If he's coming like that, it, it's downwards, isn't it? It's downwards. If he's coming here, then you've got a chance to. All right. So what I found is I'm so busy here that I get a little bit stuck here. It's a bit stuck now. I get this big lump through here. So I'm not very elegant at that. So I need a little more space. So this is for the, for the Hakama. When he comes here, I'm going to push him to the stage without him knowing it. To give him a bit more space. It, it's not so much pushing him as it's holding him off from cut, for this arm coming inwards. So I go like that. And that, so I actually put a little bit of that into it. I'm not trying to move it, but I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do that. Right. You uh, coke you. <laughs> you can put coke you in once you've got it, but you've got to. But but this is uh, domineering, and it could be a uh, bullying. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold him off because I need to. So I don't know if any of you are finding that your body's too big to get through the hole you're creating. But if you are, that's what you, you need to add, that little piece. You know, teachers don't tell you this stuff because uh, they might not know you're struggling with it. Um, if you train every day, then I used to do six days a week, but it, it gets inbuilt, built, uh, self-preservance. <laughs> so, but, but, you know, I'm handing you it. Do that. Don't think that, oh, I'll go around it all and then you find, oh, this is a bit difficult. Never mind. I'll get him when I get here. No, I'll do a Nikio. That'll give him, that'll tell him not to be so difficult with me. So I'd like to, uh, the, uh, the, the lady. Yeah. And uh, let's say, David, he's big, isn't he? Right, stand there, please. That's right. I just need you to stand there. Stand, and David stand there and uh, let's have a look uh, uh, we'll use you, your third Dan you stand here ok, so I want you to face him as if you're going to now be his ukis alright, so you ready to be his ukis I'm now going to ask uh, a genuine question and I'm asking you all the same question who are you going to be more bothered about? <laughs> this one? Yeah. Let's face it, we know, don't we? <laughs> and that's why you'll never be able to do a census Aikido. Because you've decided who is going to give you the biggest problem. If this person here thinks... I'll have to blend with either, whatever comes. And if he genuinely, genuinely means that, that I doubt any of you do in this room, we haven't found our senses Aikido yet. Mm. All right. So you don't have to attack him, but I, that was a principle. <laughs> Thank you. So, so your biggest fault in what you're trying to do in any of these techniques is you're trying to work the person out rather than blend with what you've got. You see, form can be a hindrance as well as uh, helpful. It doesn't matter who comes up. Like I said, I haven't trained with Dominic. I haven't trained with Roger. It doesn't matter to me because I must be polite to them. Please go past. I had a conversation a moment uh, a little while ago about a Tana Henker, wouldn't it be better when on Kina Nagari for them to do that so they can take the wrist? Where here, the wrist gets small and they don't want to take it. And I said, yes, the problem with that is, uh, let, let's have a look, um, let's see what the problem is. I'm on a line. In Kina Nagari, in Kihon, I would go like this, I would get off the line, I would turn and be here. Kina Nagari... You do this, you get off the line, you turn there. 
but the point was, but they haven't got a lot of wrist to grab. So if I go this way, they've got a better wrist to grab. But if they do that way, what happens is, as a teacher, you start getting more confident and you start doing that. Now, did I get out of the way of my partner? No. And it's because by doing that, it makes him naturally go around me. Okay. So now I'm getting lazy. Yeah, but I'm good, so it don't matter. You know, it, and this is a problem what happens with teachers. Just because they can do it, they, they forget the basic principle. The basic principle is I must do Tanahenko the same whether it's Kinanagari or Kihon. I must get out of the way and say, please go past, I don't want to fight you. So that's why if you work on linking them together, linking them together, linking them together, I, the techniques all start looking the same. It's, the philosophy starts all becoming the same. I get out of his way on all of these. I mean, I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit this big guy, do I? <laughs> you know, I had to get out of the way even to do it. I had to. I had to get out of the way even to perform it. But you will see some teachers who have done karate and Aikido, they'll go, hey! You know, they're not moving an inch because they know they can go bang, bang, bang. Why didn't he fall down? Because I wasn't in his energy moving. I wasn't in his energy. I had to keep moving until he fell down. The, the seminar will go on till four o'clock. And those who want to go home, thank you. And those who want to stay, we'll be working on t throwing without touching and we'll be working on energy work. But out of 100 people, 99% aren't interested. So that's why I don't really teach it. All right? But just lately, I've had more and more people sort of pestering me to do it. You can see what I'm doing. He doesn't know why he's falling down. But we'll go into that. But I don't want to make it sound as if it's exotic or special. But those who are interested in, we'll say, the energy work, it's a stepping stone to start it. How am I doing it? I am Nick. I become Nick. Please go past. I'm 100% giving to him. What I'm not doing, you can use the yin and yang, you can use the dark side of this energy and go down, down. Oh. I will get it. I pulled him down because I wanted it to work. So there is a black side, but if you're a good person, you'll overcome that and your ego will realise it's not the way to go through life and you'll, and you'll do it with love rather than hate or want. All right. Why does he keep falling down? I don't know. What's wrong with him? Perhaps he should see a doctor. <laughs> right, so I tried it out on a 12-year-old Russian boy. And he's like, he was the best 12-year-old I've ever seen. He, I made him do a first Q test. It was superb. I said, do you want to go in the other room and sort of study for it? 30 minutes later, he comes back. He says, I said, see, I'm ready. He can speak English, ready. I thought, 30 minutes, you must be joking. Oh, what a, but it's on, the, it's on the YouTube. You can see his test. I couldn't believe it, 30 minutes, and he'd worked out all I want, what I wanted. I'd done this on him, and I said to him, please have a word with your mother when you come home, because you've got a little bit of cotton here. In, and I said, that bit of cotton, I said, you shouldn't have it hanging. So, so after doing this a few times, He's going like this. <laughs> He's trying to see the cotton that I'm pulling. So I pr it proved to me that, because uh, you can't con children, well, I don't think you can. So it proved to me that uh, I must be, have worked something out correctly. 
You're not going to get there in a hurry. You're not going to get there while you're trying to lift your arms. You're not going to get in there while you're trying to do all this. It's only when the time is right. But if you want a stepping stone to understanding a sense is Aikido, you need to do yoga because Ho Sensei done it. You need to meditate. You need to realize that it's not me, me, me. It's him, him, him. And you should be hit to help every. I mean, I know that uh, if you was to need, if somebody was out in the road and you saw them fall off their bike or something, most of we'd go out there. I doubt if anybody wouldn't go out there and say, Are "You okay?" All right. So we, it's inbuilt in us naturally, but when we're doing Aikido, we seem to have this thought of, oh, "I've got to get the shinagi right, whatever the cost." You know. All right. So I can't think where I was, but. Um, could you try and go over for all of what we've done this morning and then the other person try? If you can't remember it, just do what you can. Right? You've got five minutes to perfect the art. <laughs>